No one said if this carpet python bites me, he'll buy me a beef stick from next door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my she god. got me. She did want to rip one. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. You know, I don't have anything major on my agenda today, so I am gonna to declare today a day of awesome. We're just gonna have an incredible day together. Whatever happens to be going on, what do you say we do that? Push all our problems aside for the next 12 or 15 minutes, have a great time over at the Reptarium, over at BHB, and just really enjoy ourselves together. Go ahead and comment down below what's gonna make your day today awesome, and while you're down there, smash that like button. Let's get this video like, you know, 10,000 likes. Is that okay? Let's go ahead and do it. And I'm I'm gonna go ahead and get my day started with these cute little monkeys. I have to do my water change on these guys, but sometimes I just look at them and I think, holy moly, I actually have an albino alligator and a melanistic alligator. I mean, just take a look at these cute little monkeys. And you know, I've told people recently the story a little bit that when I first got them, I was infatuated with pepper. I thought it was just incredible, and I still do, don't get me wrong. But I will tell you, the longer that goes by, the more I'm falling in love with salt. I mean, its personality is just like RJ when it was a baby. I'm not gonna lie to you, I love pepper, but it's probably not gonna be the tamest of alligators. I mean, we're gonna continue to work with it, but I think it's always gonna be a little bit of a struggle, whereas salt is just like RJ, just a sweetheart, never ever tries to bite or show any aggression. I could just tell you that with the experience I've had in the past, when an alligator has a beautiful temperament, when it's a baby like this, it's typically much easier to work with when it's bigger, whereas with pepper, even though it could be a really good, and hey, even tame alligator, it's probably never going to be RJ-like. I tell you what, I am so happy and so freaking out that I actually own these guys. Oh my God, it's such a dream come true. All right, so I'll go ahead and get these two little monkeys back in their little quarantine tank right now. And like I mentioned, I'm probably going to put Pepper on exhibit maybe as early as this week. I'm not 100% sure. Salt is still just a little bit too small. I think I'm going to give her another three or four weeks, maybe even a month. I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see, they're doing really well. Pepper has gained about 10 or 12 grams and salt has gained almost 10 grams as well so they're doing really well i'll go ahead and get this lid on get the light back on and move on to the next project i see that eric and noah are in here so uh, let's see what they're up to Dude. Uh, 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 uh. noah said if this carpet python bites me he'll buy me a beef stick from next door and a monster oh my gosh <laughs> these two i <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen with these guys. I'm assuming that there's gonna be a funny vlog on Noah's channel with Eric uh, trying to handle Nub Snip. <sighs> kids, man, kids. Oh, she won't. Oh my oh. God, oh my God. She, what? No, but she's, yeah. Literally, Eric literally was like, you know what's awesome is that I was messing with Love's to Nip. Oh my she God. She got me, she, she got did one of the rip ones. Yeah, that's right. What? Are you kidding me? So literally, she, he's like, Love Snip won't bite. He goes, no, it's awesome. She's finally tamed out. And now this happens. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Come on. I just said how nice you were. Oh, my god. You know gosh. what? That's the name. I, oh, I think she's hit an artery. Okay. I'm getting a little get that, woozy. Get that cleaned up. You're yep, getting, you gotta, yep. You gotta, Oh my god. Guys, I, did, I literally was excited that Love Snip didn't want to bite. What happened? Oh, Noah's gonna be so upset because on his vlog he was hoping that Eric was gonna get bit and then I didn't want him to get bit. It's like opposite day here. It's supposed to be the day of awesome. You know what's awesome is my lizard comes to her name. Come on, Bella. Come on, sweetheart. Come here. That's a good girl. Yeah, it's pretty awesome to have a lizard that literally will come to her name. You're such a good girl, Bella. So you said your name was? Nick. Nick. And Nick is driving from Colorado back to Niagara. Yeah. Uh, he wanted to stop by the Reptarium last night, but unfortunately didn't make it. So he brought us donuts and wanted to check out Reptarium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lori, donuts are good. Let, well, should we check out what kind of donuts yeah. before we see it? Okay, okay. Your is wild. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if we're... Oh, 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 o
like that's diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. All right, all right. Lori said, don't just show up to the Reptarium and think that everyone's getting a tour for donuts, but uh, we're gonna go check out the Reptarium. You guys know that I absolutely love showing off the Reptarium. I love doing tours. I love doing everything. I love when we're open to the public. So uh, whenever I have a minute, of course I'm gonna do it. And again, I can't have you drive all the way out of the way and come here and not at least get a quick moment of checking out the animals here at the Reptarium. So we'll give them the five cent tour, or in this case, the donut tour. <laughs> you know, everyone's gotta meet Bella. Hey Bella, you are awesome, girl. Isn't she amazing? Awesome. My little escaper potato. <laughs> Bella's looking like, what are you guys doing over there? You said like one of your like pinnacle animals is the cow retic, right? Yeah, the be all end all. I know, right? I mean, Perdita is just insane. She's just so, so good. <laughs> I love her. As a matter of fact, you know, Kevin, and my buddy that I got it from over at Nerd, he actually hatched out some more cows, and I've really been like thinking, should I get another cow? You know, I mean, I love Perdita, but I'm thinking like maybe get another one. Why not? Let's get two of them, right? So let me know in the comments if you guys think I should get another cow. I just love this thing. So we're had a good time. Just a real quick uh, prompt tour. I uh, got a chance to meet Salt and Pepper. Yeah. Which is awesome. So you're off to Niagara. Niagara. Yeah. Okay, you going through Canada then? Yep. Okay, cool. So that's not that far. So. Safe travels, and uh, I'm going to go out and visit him in Mohab sometime to go uh, go hiking in the in the crazy, amazing scenery of Mohab one day. So let's stay in touch, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, cool. So, Lori, did you eat any of the donuts? Oh yeah. There you was, did? Oh my yeah. god. There was an apple in there, and I have been wanting an apple donut for a long time, oh my and gosh. it was good. Well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I don't like apple donuts, but uh, again, I got to tell you guys. You know, I love showing people around. It seems like almost any time someone shows up, if I have the time, I want to show them around. But Lori, uh, we're probably not going to let the price of admission be donuts, right? No, no, we're, we're charging him too. It's donuts plus the cost. Of the tour. <laughs> That's how that rolls. <laughs> no, but seriously, we did have a really good time. It was really fun. And again, it was just kind of like the perfect timing. A lot of times I'm so busy, I couldn't have done it, but uh, it was a really good time. Really cool guy too. So, all right, so back to the awesome day, all right? You know, when I think of a day of awesome, I think of handling amazing, beautiful animals. And I've got to tell you, one of the things that concerns me a little bit about the vlog, and I want to know from you guys what you think, is showing the same animals animals too often. I don't want you guys to get bored. I am obsessed with Night Fury. I mean obsessed with this animal. I mean its color is unbelievable and everyone that comes in always says, you know Brian, I'll be totally honest with you, it doesn't really get captured as much on camera as when I'm here. When they see it they're just like, oh my god it's amazing, but I don't want to get you guys bored. I don't want to just keep pulling out the same animals like Night Fury or Perdita or Bella or RJ or whatever the case is. Let me know if you guys do get bored or if you want to continue to see it. You know, I do have some busy work here later on this week. I've got to build a wall in the basement so that I can hibernate one side and start to maybe work on some animals downstairs. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I also really want to get this arachnid wall started so I can start putting some spiders and other arachnids on that wall. So we have a lot of work today, but today is a day of awesome. So I'm not going to do anything but play with animals, do all my normal work as usual, you know, feeding and cleaning and watering and all that stuff. But that's awesome to me. I think that in itself is an awesome day. So the word on the street is that you two want to start a podcast. Oh yeah, I'm ready. I've been wanting to forever. <laughs> and, and by the way, they're starting this podcast without me. So I, am I ever going to be a guest on the podcast? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Every maybe. once in a while? No, okay. probably not. So, <laughs> no, so let me know in the comments if you guys would listen to their podcast and what the name should be. I was thinking that a great name would be No Guts, No Lori. But <laughs> I don't like that, that one either. Yeah. <laughs> no guts, no Noah. It's just gonna be the bar check show. The bar check show. The bar so they're thinking about the bar check show. It would be a podcast and a YouTube yeah. channel. What What are you guys gonna talk about? Everything. Yeah. Everything. Whatever's going Whenever. on. Whatever we're thinking. Whatever. World we, events. Yeah. Opinions. Exactly. We might ask other people. Hey, what do you want us to talk about? Yeah. Hmm. So Sounds fun. interesting. Listen, I, I don't know. I, I think A, it would be fun, and B, yeah. I feel like people would like to hear what we have to exactly. say. Exactly. I don't care what any, if anybody watches it. Exactly. I just want We're to do doing it, it so for the fun. I just want to do so, it. So there you okay. go. Okay, well, let me know in the comments if you guys want to do it. What do you think? Should it be the Bar Trick Show? No Gus, no Lori. What, what do you guys think? <laughs> we got to start a YouTube channel so you guys can subscribe. You'll be able to watch it on YouTube and then maybe on iTunes or something like that, too. So let me know if you guys are into that podcast, and let me know what you guys think about the fact that they're cutting the out of this. Oh, 
Well, it's not that. No, it is that we're cutting you out. No. You, you you talk a lot, and I feel like if, <laughs> if we had you on a podcast, like it would just be you talking no. all the time. So we'll have you as a guest, but with restraints. Like you can only. Oh say my gosh! Earlier, I was talking about a arachnid wall and how excited I am. And I think back just a couple years ago when I wouldn't even hold a tarantula, and now I'm kind of obsessed with them. Do I think I'm going to have a hundred tarantulas? Probably not, but I really do find amazing beauty in these animals. And and again, the thing that I love about the Reptarium is that all kinds of people come in and are terrified. And for whatever reason, I think the environment really causes people to want to step out of their kind of comfort zone and try things. Because we have people coming in that are terrified of snakes and then they end up holding a snake. Just yesterday I had a tour where a kid was terrified of snakes, wouldn't even get within 10 feet. And by the end of the tour, he was handling snakes. And that's what happens with the tarantulas too. People come in and go, no way, I'll handle snakes, but no way I'm going to handle a tarantula. And by the end of the time, they're always handling it. I just think that that's amazing. It's amazing how far I've come and it's amazing that a place like this can really help other people get over their fear. So I am really excited about the arachnid wall. Not just because I want to continue to teach other people, but for me, myself, I'm excited about it. Dude, Sweetwaters? Who is that? I don't know. This one's from Kalamazoo, man. These are premium donuts. Which one's got the custard in it? They all do, besides that know. one. Besides that one? This yeah, cool. they all do. A nice nougat? What is that? A nice... That looks, I don't know. I guess there's chocolate or Nutella apple. in there or something. Oh, it's like apple, dude! Oh. Apple. Caramel, caramel apple with nuts on it. Is it good? Oh my god, it's so good! But Lori's gonna kill me. I'm getting stuff all over the carpet. Feed bill clean Should we tell them we found it in the dumpster next door? Yeah. <laughs> no, they're good. They're oh, good. Okay, so okay, okay. Did. So it brought us. So it brought us. Just kidding. Dude, sweet. <laughs> I promise you guys, I'll do a kind of really cool ball python vlog here coming up, but I just wanted to show you a couple cool things that I'm coming across right now. This is actually a vanilla red stripe. The red stripe stuff is absolutely cool and all kinds of great stuff is starting to happen with it. This is actually a vanilla crossed into it. That thing is awesome. <laughs> just so scared of it. <laughs> Look at the crazy pattern on this pied right here. I mean, those are so cool. But I will tell you this, you guys know that I love smiley pieds. This may be my favorite smiley from a smiley pied. Holy moly. All right, they're back together again. Nothing yeah. good can come of this. Guys, I have declared today the day of awesome. So tell me Ooh. something. What's your advice to people for an awesome day? An awesome day? What you gotta do is you gotta go get you some food and eat it that's no that's not i mean i think that's awesome that, i mean that's um, a good day but i do that every day awesome um, awesome if you day. want an awesome day basically all you have to do when you wake up say you're gonna have an awesome day and believe will, in yourself so it's like kind of like mind over matter yeah positive vibes no matter what karma you could be having a horrible day but as long as you just be like as long as you just tell yourself I'm going to have a good day today and not let it affect me, you're going to have a great day. If you cut one of your fingers off, that's just one less nail to trim. Think about it like that, baby. Glass is half full. There you go. You guys heard it here. Cut your finger off, less money on manicures. I think that was it. I think something like that. Look at how smooth this one looks. This is actually a pastel fire spinner. Oh my gosh. That thing is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look at the colors on this little monkey right here. This is actually a lemon blast calico or a pastel, a pinstripe, and a calico. Ooh, doggy, that thing is gorgeous. And everyone knows that I love dark more stuff. This is actually a black pastel bred to a chocolate. Oh my God, I love the way this thing turned out. This is another one I was super happy to produce and really happy with the way it turned out. This is actually a pewter pin cypress. So it's basically a pastel, a cinnamon, a pinstripe, and a cypress ball python, but it looks absolutely stunning. My wish for today is that my awesome day kind of projects onto you, that the positive energy that I'm sending you right now means that not only that you enjoyed the last whatever, 12, 15 minutes, whenever this video was, but that you can take that positive energy, that awesomeness, and bring it onto your day and have an absolutely incredible day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Because your support means the world to me, and I truly do love you guys so much, do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you you know when I upload a video, make sure to comment down below and tell me something awesome about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone today and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.